Joe Bishop here, Bishop Backwood Survival. Today, I'm going to teach y'all how to cut a heart of palm. All right? Be right back. Let me give you a, a little bit of nomenclature. All right, this is what they call a boot, okay? Got two sides to it. it, grows around the tree like that. You gotta cut both sides of it. And this is called a frond. So what you wanna do is you wanna clear yourself out real fast. Go up a little bit with this. Let's see what we got. All right, if you start in the center and stagger down, you're gonna count in the center, which is back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, this one being seven. You wanna cut it under seven. Or if you've been doing it like I have for a long time, it's where it bells out comes down and you see it's coming down and it starts to bell out right there. Every cabbage is gonna be different, but it's always gonna have the little bell on it. So what you wanna do is you wanna trim it up. You wanna trim these fronds off of it so you can get around it. Do it like, so. like I said, this cold steel machete, if you've seen my other videos I made today, which you probably will, cause I'm gonna pop it first if you follow me at all. And by the way, I wish you'd like and subscribe to my channel. So I'm gonna clear this out so I can get that boot. All right. See that boot right there? I wanna cut this. I wanna cut that. Kinda looks like a slingshot. All right, so you cut that one, but you gotta go all the way around the tree. So you cut this one, and cut that one, and cut that one, cut back to this. And all you're doing is staggering going around. And when you cut, you don't want to cut in like this here. You want to cut at an angle. Makes it easy to cut, so I'm cutting at an angle. So that being said, I'm walking around the tree and you can see I got me a good clear space in the work, okay? Alright. It's important that you clear your space up because you can be swinging down and catch something like that and wrap right into your leg. Believe it or not, on my right shoulder back here, I had to take dental floss and put 27 stitches. I had to go check my son out at school. So he, I would push it through, the needle through, and he would pull it through a pair of pliers. He got the stove back up from where I I turned my machete around because I, I just sharpened it. And I was gonna break this rotten limb that I thought was rotten. And whenever I hit it, it bounced back and wrap, wrapped me in the shoulder. And some good green doing floss patched me up. Like 
said, you want to keep your little finger blade can get caught on. That could injure you. You want to remove them. You're going to remove them anyway, so. Funny, I was watching Naked and Afraid, and they had an episode where they're down in the Everglades. They're having a hard time getting food. They're catching fish. And the guy caught an alligator, but dude, they had a ton of these all around them. That's good eating, all right? So now, what you want to do? All the fronds, you want to trim them off. I always stand back at an angle, and I cut at an angle, remember, because it's easy to cut. And keep you out of the way, that way you don't Whack. hit yourself in the leg. Alright. Alright, got down that part. Now I gotta get where the Harder palm is. So I still got trim to do, but mostly hard work done. Alright, I don't know if you've seen me or not, but I cut through, I almost hit myself in my leg. This is called de-booting right here. De-booting. Because what you're doing is taking the boots off. Alright, when you get this, when you get to the part where you de-boot everything like this. This is really thin. So you take your blade and you run it down like that there. And you grab the other side. That should be come off pretty easy. Can't do it on this side because this side's like that thick. So you turn around, and they're going to be staggered every time. All right. Like I said, it's staggered every time. And this should be the last one. Cut it down, trim the edges, and get it off. Let out. Plant it. That's what I call planting it. You're planting it again. And you're going to cut all this off. it up. This here. Is that mine? This here is called bitter. See it's got fiber in it. You cut that fiber off about that. If you're to cut that up and pickle it, you can eat it. But if you try to eat it raw or try to cook it, you can't can't eat it. So you sit there and you Clear that off like so. And that's just before you get into the heart. And trim that edge off one more time. And tote it out. And that's how you cut a heart of palm. I'm Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwood Survival. Please go to my channel and uh, like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.